how are we? Are, is this like uh, World War One, World War Two, where like you walk into towns and you don't see where? Where are the young men? Are they all gone off to war? Is this a lost generation in the fifties, which is what they said after World War Two? But are we losing a whole generation of young men to video games? According to the New York Post writer Kyle Smith, we are. So Kyle Smith, uh, he and I have a lot in common. Uh, we were both addicted to a game called Civilization. And he so eloquently speaks about how when you're playing Civilization, you know, you start with the society, you build granaries, uh, you, you build roads and weapons, and then you're in control of all these little digital people, digital society. Uh, that's there. But then he was discovering he was addicted to it. Because in Civilization, it, what it's, is it? Because it's it's just one more turn. Just just one more turn. Just one more fucking turn. And you keep going and going because it is fascinating to play some of these games. And then he was waking up at 7 a.m. in the morning. I, Civilization 2 consumed the whole summer of my life. I, I think it was like summer in 95 or 96 whenever it came out. It was fantastic. Um, so he was doing this more and more and he, was, and he, he said he was a you know, he said, if you asked me at any point in my relationship to Civilization whether I was happy, I would have said no. I was ecstatic. I was euphoric. Making simulated granaries, building simulated roads, firing simulated cannon. These were my obsessions. And then he realized how much time he was wasting uh, doing that. So the premise of the article is that video games are now a substitute for having an actual life. Actually experience things. Actually going out and being, I guess in his words, living a fulfilling uh, life. He talks about video game addiction. Um, and a lot of this stuff, I see where he's coming from. I really do. Because I say I was there at some point. I've seen other people there at the point. You're there now with Fire Pro Wrestling. I'm lost, uh, <laughs> I'm lost in the squared circle. You're lost in the squared circle. So you got to be careful and check out the article. I'll link to it. I'm not, I'm not going to kill the guy entirely. But I, I think... Correlation without causation. He, he's trying to look at, like... Uh, Numbers of people, like, we, have, for example, men aged 21 to 30 working 12% fewer hours in 2015 than in two, the year 2000. In the year 2000. He said those working hours are have largely been replaced by gaming, and fully 35% of young men now live with their parents or other close relatives, up from 23% in 2000. Their unemployment rate jumped by 10%. See, for example, in the year 2000, we were still in the tech boom. Right. We had an awesome stock market built on companies that should not have had their stocks to that level. Hiring people like Pets.com and, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was oh, well, we'll, we'll stock prices and companies, valuations are going to go up forever. And guess what? It was bullshit. The economy was great in the year 2000. But just a year later in 2001, it plummeted. By 2002, it was awful. Right. I couldn't get an interview for six months after I graduated. So yes, of course, employment between of young men was better in 2000 than 2015. Absolutely. But to try to link that to us just playing video games, I think it's a it's, it's a false, like you said, it's, it's not a, a false causation, it's a false correlation to even try to do that. People dropping out of the workforce, he says, and becoming PlayStation's willing slaves. Hyperbolic, but it's like, alright, if I can't find a job, what's the difference if I play PlayStation or watch Netflix? Or go out and do something outside my house and go out and get ripped or uh, do yoga or become a surfer. So he's trying to make an argument dropping in playing video games where you can drop in a variety of activities. Yeah. You can waste your time doing a lot of things. Now, will I agree that there are people that probably spend their lives playing too much video games? Absolutely. Yeah. But that's a far cry from saying we've lost a whole generation of young men to video games. We like, haven't. all of them. Because not everyone, first of all, not everyone plays video games, but there's also people that play it in moderation and do things in moderation and aren't just spending entire summers of their lives playing video games. So we have to, I think, be careful when we when we do articles like this. Um, because he's, he's thinking that people are, because of the draw of video games, are basically not doing anything else with their lives versus people not doing anything else with their lives because there hasn't been anything available for them to either work or nothing of interest. Yeah, I... Sorry, I'm... You're hiving out I'm hiving while out. monologuing? Yeah, I'm hiving out. Um, no, I... I that, and that And that was my take on it, too. You, you, video games is an easy, easy scapegoat. Oh, sure. Um, and... It was rock and roll in the 50s, you know, like... You, any generation, like D&D &D in the 80s, early 80s, where it's like, oh, this is demonic and kids are lost to it. And 
And, and video games, when, when the video games were on the rise in the 80s and probably early 90s, you probably had some similar alarmist sort of thoughts about No, this, we so. totally did. You can yeah. go back and find articles about how we're losing teenagers to arcades. Sure. So, um, yes, I mean, we are seeing a resurgence. In, the thing is, I think, as video games become more mainstream... It, it, it's just, it, it, it's something that's more in the public eye, but I, that does not mean we are losing generations of people. Also, we're not losing generations of, of men. I mean, more people in general are just becoming, uh, you know, I- interested in them. We're losing generations of grandmas on buses playing Candy Crush. We now have fucking Mario Lopez doing a Candy Crush fucking game show on ABC. Is he really? I just found out about that like three days ago. He still looks like he's 20 years old, Mario Lopez. It's amazing. Um, he, he looks like he's made out of hot dogs. <laughs> what? Is that, what does that mean, Ian? He's tasty. You want to lick him? No. What is that? <laughs> no, it looks like he's made out of fucking processed meat. <laughs> so he said, oh, he's trying to compare. Like he said, for example, in this article, heroin, heroin addicts are happy too, as long as they're high. What, what long-term effects do they face? Do, he's trying to say that if you play, you're addicted to video games, it's as, it's as bad as being addicted to heroin. If you're addicted to video games, that's not good. But I'd rather be addicted to video games than heroin. Because one's going to kill me, and the other one probably won't directly. Um, and he starts to talk about, he gets into, like, uh, being the opposite sex being attracted to you, uh, dissatisfaction if, if, in your life and love life, if you, if you play a lot of video games. And it's like, well, if you do a lot of anything, you're going it, to... It's not let video games cause you all of a sudden to have a drop in your sex life or talking to other people. This it, is a this is this is a blatantly sexist article as well. I, I would You I think would, so? Why why is that? Cuz it's focusing on men? Yeah. I, I, well, I, I, and, and quite frankly, I mean, I mean, let, let, let's just put it this way. Uh, video games at one point in time led to an increase in my sex life. So, Oh, I mean, well, that's anecdotal evidence. And never with me. Oh, so but, but, I'm just, but I'm just saying it's a bullshit article all around. Well, it, it's trying to make points. He, he saw himself... I'll, I'll be the... I'll be, I'm with him on some of this, where it's like, you can lose your li- li- life to video games. You can lose your... But, yes, you can lose your life to anything. Sure. There is addictive quality to some video games, like Civilization, The yes. Sims. We've talked about this. I, I agree. Some video games are highly addictive. Uh, World of Warcraft, something that's highly more addictive, and you do have to be careful with that. There's a reason why I won't play the new Civilization game. I am afraid I will get addicted to that game. It is very, very good. I, when I started playing The Sims in college when it first came out, I had to stop because I was playing it for two days straight, and I'm like, I did say, what the fuck am I doing? I had to say that. I'm simulating someone's life. This is insane. I, I had to do that, or else I could have played it for you I, know, days I've on never end. played The Sims for that reason, just like I never played... I've I, people don't believe me. I've never once loaded up World of Warcraft for that sure. reason. I've never once so, loaded up Sims for that reason. He's trying to make a point that you can lose touch with reality and people if you are addicted to video games. And that is true. If you're addicted to anything, by video games, you are shut in in general if you're playing a video game. So, yes, moderation. But I think this author went off the deep end in trying to make the point okay. that he was trying to make. Sure. 